All right, today we're going to be playing Warhammer. Pizza Hammer. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so instead, we're not playing Pizza Hammer. We're playing Ghetto Hammer. Yes, I love Ghetto Hammer. All right, so Ghetto Hammer is basically taking an army list that you have and drawing it up on a piece of paper and checking to see if the list works or not. So I have my Vampire Council list. My girlfriend Kat has her new... Um, Lizard men list. She's using her model. So it's not full ghetto hammer. Huh? It's poor hammer. It's not ghetto hammer. Alright, so my list, I'm not going to tell you anything special on my list because Kat's right here. So uh, the mundane stuff, we have Vargolf. We have 30 ghouls, vampire count, gas. We have a graveguard unit of 30 plus a banshee, uh, full command. And then we have another ghoul unit of 30, Gas, White Queen BSB, and a Wraith, or a Can Wraith. And then we have Vargolf. Uh, over here, I have no idea what she has on her list. Um, so starting over here. There's a skin unit with two Korra? Croxagores. Okay, two skin unit with Croxagores. Uh, obvious Stegadon, the only thing that's not ghetto, ghetto eyes. With a skin crease in it. Okay, and that big unit right there? Uh, this is a Taurus Warrior. Taurus Warrior, and then we have Terrag Terragon. Terra. Terragon. I say Terra. No, no. That's yeah. Terragon is like a spice. <laughs> Terradons, that's what it is. Terradons. We'll call them, we'll call them Terragons. <laughs> and then we have two Salamanders. We have uh, Temple Guard with a Slam Mage, I'm assuming. Yeah. And then, and then another unit of what skinks mm -hmm. with the Croxagore in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the Terragons. If we remember the Terragons. She gets to make her Vanguard move with those, right? Uh, yeah. Um, we haven't done that. Okay. So we're about to roll to see who goes first. Um, I'm just going to take this dice here and roll. I finished first, so I plus one. Ooh, it's seven. You can't beat that because I no. plus one. But good try rolling. Good try rolling. <laughs> Natural seven, maybe. All right. So turn one goes to Vampire Counts. Ghetto Hammer, commence. All right. So... Before I move, I forgot to roll for my magic, of course. There's always uh, another rule in here. Um, so I go. I got a, a 1 and a 3, so I have uh, Raise Dead and Gaze into Gash and Invocation of the Knee Hack, which is free. And Cat is chosen Fire and... and uh, um, fire and Light, I guess. I, no. I, I can't oh, remind. Heaven and, heaven and Fire. Yes, and right. she's going to roll to see what uh, her skink guy gets. Which looks mm -hmm. like a six and a two. Yeah. Um, so chain lightning. Chain lightning. And wild blast. And wild blast. All right. Or wind blast. Wind it? blast. Something. <laughs> All right, for my turn. Um, this is battle of the past, by the way. So I uh, just moved everything up, obviously, for turn one. Um, I got a uh, double one for uh, winds of magic, so she gets one. I get two. And I rolled uh, a 7 for my power to uh, invocation for ghouls on this. And she rolled a 1, so she didn't dispel it. So I grew 3 ghouls. So, her turn. Alright, so turn 1 has ended. So, like I said, I moved everything up. Um, and I got these guys up. For hers, though, she moves everything up. Um, leaves her slain back there. Um, she tries to... Uh, fire some magic missiles into my grave guard. Um, she fails with a slain, and nothing is in reach for baby slain. So uh, um, that was the end of the magic phase. Um, and then in the shooting phase, she shot the great bow here. She needed a 2 plus to penetrate the first guy. Um, she rolled a 1, so it stopped there. So um, this is turn 2. Vampire counts moving up. All right, so again, I move everything up. Um, yes, yeah, very interesting, I know. And um, magic phase, I get nine plus one for channel, so that's six, uh, ten. I don't know why I got six out of that, um, but I got ten dice out of that. Um, so basically, what I did was I tried to raise a whole bunch of ghouls. Um, some on here, some on here. Uh, I, the one that managed to get through, I rolled a one, so it got plus one ghoul. I know it's very awesome. Um, especially going up against a slain mage, it's so hardcore to get to get past and then get a, get a one. It's horrible. Um, I I saved the uh, 
three dice left for a gaze and a gas on the tarragon. And uh, I did seven wounds. I got seven and seven wounds. So they're all dead. Um, she almost dispelled it, right? Didn't you like have like, mm -hmm. you, you was like one under or something like that. Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes, like it's, it's all about the dice. It's all about the dice. Yeah, she could have dispelled to rolled it. But I mean, the odds are in your favor with the plus four anyway. Um, so I wouldn't have the spell scrolled it personally. But like I said, sometimes the dice works, and I'm closer, so it's not like she's not going to blast me on my turn anyway. So uh, we have Lizardman turn two, Battle of the Pass, Ghetto Hammer. All right, so Ghetto Hammer turn, end of turn three. Um, so everything moved up. In her magic phase, she did a lot of stuff against me. Um, she killed off one guy here with some fireballs and stuff, and... Um, this spell of blastingness um, only moved one inch, so it kind of she put it right here and trying to scatter it this way, I guess, and killed one guy. Um, there's that guy dead, and then she fired a salamanders here and killed uh, three guys. So um, my turn. All right, so my turn. Um, I raised some more ghouls in this unit. Um, I rolled really low. I think I rolled a a one and a two. Mm -hmm. I rolled a three in total because um, I channeled one, so I had four dice, two each. Tried to, to raise more ghouls, basically. Moved up. Charge with this Vargolf failed. Um, charge with this Vargolf made it. Um, in the uh, magic phase, nothing happened. Like I said, the ghouls tried to get raised, nothing happened. My ghetto Vargolf uh, went in. Um, a skink actually managed to wound him, which is sad. Um, and the Croxagor managed to wound him once as well, but, um, between that, the Vargolf killed off, I believe, four, yeah, killed off four, and then thunder, thunder stomped another three. Mm -hmm. So, seven wounds, not really total, but seven died, um, and she actually panicked and fled. Um, I didn't catch it, um, one inch away, um, so I'm just kind of chilling out there. Um, so it's her turn, and she's in range for a lot of charging, so we'll see what happens. All right, so um, looks like Kat did some interesting stuff here. Uh, she did a lot of damage to Vargolf. He has the uh, fire cage on him right now, and he's got one wound, so as soon as he moves, he'll probably die, because usually sometimes when I get things fire caged, they just get burned somehow. Um, she has the uh, fire cloud on her, so anything that charges her, I'm going to be taking damage. Um, and then she did the flame sword thing here, so they had plus one to wound. Um, over here, the salamanders fired their fireballs here. They killed two of, or four of them, so I'm back down to my 30 man unit. Um, then she fired again, and she ate three of her dudes. Over here on this charge, as you can see, um, the croxagor plus skink unit is gone. Um, she double charged it. She caused a hell of a lot of wounds. Um, but in the end, um, well, some of them were impact hits and, and uh, stomp attacks. In the end, I had managed to cause a lot of wounds here from these ghouls to here. And um, I won by two, which was like by the skin of my teeth right there. Um, with the help of my wraith and my white queen, BSB. Um, so on the Stubbornate here, um, she actually lost that roll. So he fled. Um, I actually caught this unit because didn't flee far enough. Um, so that was actually very surprising. Um, but as you can see right here, um, this unit only has the 10 man in front and then the 3 in back. So it's pretty devastated. So I'm going to have to try to raise some ghouls on my turn. Or not. And just let them die. I don't care. Um, over here, it was literally the same, except for the charge. So I lost by one, so I crumbled. So this is, this unit, this back unit, this one is over here. So this back unit is killed, and um, so right now I have, what, like, I'm down seven. So I have 23 left. Um, not bad, I still have a Banshee, so she's going to be some wailing here soon. And then my vampire count is right here. Is, is going to charge in that unit to help that unit out probably on my turn. 
Um, but she still has that big unit back there, that Croxagore unit rallied, so it's still got a Croxagore. My poor Volkov is going to die. So she's going to have this side probably secure. I'm going to probably try to collapse this side, and then we'll probably meet in the middle. So pretty eventful on that turn four, um, or at the end of turn three. So it'll be Vampire Count's turn four. See if I can uh, try to sweep the right side. All right, so end of Vampire Count's turn four. As you can see, I managed to raise a lot of ghouls. There's actually more than there, um, but they died off during combat. Um, with the help of my Vampire Countess and the ghouls, combined attacks with the Grave Guard, managed to whittle them down a lot and cause them to flee. And the Grave Guard unit caught them. She only fled three. And here I restrained and reformed. Um, as you can see, these guys chased down the Stegodon and managed to catch it, but are stuck here against this wall now. Um, Vargolf moved up here. Um, over here, Vargolf charged, didn't get wounded by the flame cage, um, killed off all the skinks, and then the Croxagor smashed his head open and killed him. So right now she's got some salamanders, so you can burn my guys, a Croxagor, and a unit of Temple Guard with Slam Mage and buffs on top of him. So sword, uh, Lizardmen turn for starting next. All right, so a short turn for the Lizardmen. Um, she moved up. Um, they moved up here. He moved up there. Um, Croxagor, Salamanders, Templegar with Slain Mage. Um, she fired Fireball into Vargolf and then tried to do fireball something. Again. Fireball again, but she didn't pass, so ended his phase. Um, over here in the shooting phase, she tried to flame right here to get that unit too. Um, and he promptly ate his handlers and so now they're going to fight as normal but they have no handlers at the he moment. He doesn't eat his handlers. He totally ate his handlers. No, Poked too hard. They, he should throw a fireball at them. They they throw, die. I don't know. I think I'd I I rather get eaten than have a fireball and burn me to death. Alright, so my turn. Turn five. Alright, so quick uh, top of turn five for vampire counts. I charged the uh, uh, salamanders. My vampire count, countess ca caused eight wounds, um, killing them all. Um, my magic phase before that, I cast a whole bunch of times to try to raise more ghouls. Um, she denied them every time, so I didn't get anything. Um, my Vargolf tried to charge here, but failed. They reformed over here, um, and then just kind of went through the woods there. So, um, her turn. It's probably going to be a Croxagor charging my Vargolf, probably, or um, actually, he could charge that unit, but I don't know if he'd want to. Eh, we'll see. Because um, she could charge... I would double charge. I would charge here and here and to here. Maybe. Maybe. If you wanted to. I don't know. <laughs> it just seems kind of scary at this point. So we'll see what she does. Uh, Lizardman turn 5. Alright, so um, another quick Lizardman turn. Um, she kind of just positioned things. Um, flame caged Vargolf. Um, tried a fireball on that unit and failed. So the end of the magic phase. Um, so last turn, top of turn 6. Alright, so Vampire Counts turn 6. Um, Vargolf charged um, took a wound, it didn't take any wounds from the flame cage. No. Charged into the fiery cloud of doom, um, and she rolled a whole lot of dice and managed to do only one wound. So he only was sitting on one wound when he went in there, um, which I totally forgot about that stupid cloud. Um, he got two wounds and then she just like slaughtered me. Um, actually she caused three wounds and I failed them all. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So, that's the end of my turn. Over here, Vampire Countess basically caused three wounds and killed that guy off, um, before he could think. Um, so, it's her turn, and the turn will be the end of the game at, th at this juncture when she finishes. I still think, though, she has one more magic phase, which means she can still continue the streak of rolling double sixes and blowing up her whole unit. Because every game we play, she blows up her whole unit, and it makes her cry inside. 
So we'll see what happens. All right, so uh, at the end of turn six, she unloaded all her magic into this unit. She killed off uh, 12 in that, actually. Um, she kept blasting the hell out of that unit. And then um, she charged first, of course. And then I took some more damage from the flame cage. I think, actually, I think, or the cloud thing. Actually, I don't think you actually did wound me with that. I think you only did like one wound or something. Mm -hmm. It didn't do much. Mm -hmm. She rolled a one and a two if to actually see how much damage she would do. So only three. Um, so not a lot of damage. Um, and then the combat phase, my vampire countess, she popped her potion. Red furied, um, infinite hatreded, eight wounds onto that unit. After, of course, the champion here challenged my gas. My gas said no. It went away. So, uh, my gas didn't get to attack, but it wasn't too scary. Um, so my ghouls actually did like um, five wounds or something like that, and plus the uh, eight from the uh, vampire count, so 13. And then she got to attack back, killed two guys. Um, so that unit kind of is kind of hurting there. Yeah. Um, but that's the end of the game. Um, and my flame didn't die. It's very shocking. I really wanted her to blow up. Even if my vampire counts was right there, I didn't care. I think it would just been awesome if she just blew up. So, I think point-wise, I think I won this game unless you really want to tally it up. No, you won't. I have three still whole units. I'm just glad I killed both of your Rorgolfs. Yes, two of my Rorgolfs are dead. Um, so that's like 350 points or something like that. Um, and she has... I have 400 in the plane and almost 400. And so 800 left. So I killed about 1,200 points, yeah. and she killed 300 points. Yeah, that's mass massacre or something like that. No, massacre is full kill. So it's just a victory. Massacre is I fully wipe you out. So it's just a victory. Um, so good game, Cat. Um, this list is pretty good, I think. Your list is your list is really good, I think too. I, th I think I think what she really needed to do. My tarragons died too early. That's the problem. Your tarragons. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> you made me lose my train of thought with that, with this, the spices, the birds <laughs> that fly. Um, what she really, what she really thought, really should have done is just use this guy, like she was doing, but concentrated down a unit, because he's got that plus one dice, and... I have to have a full rank around him. And, um, pretty much Blue was blowing this guy, this unit up. If she had fully concentrated on the units themselves, she probably would have blown them up instead of separating them, um, which would have really hurt, I think. You have to have a full unit around this one. You have to have a full unit around him. Why? That's the rules for it. Well, no, I mean, no, 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 yeah, keep him in the unit. No, no, no. you said to move to the front. Move what? No, no, no. no to kidding. use him with his unit, but, okay. I mean, generally with his magic, just blow the F out of everyone. Yeah. Like you were doing here. Because he just kept... You know, you weren't really failing with the four and the, you know what I mean? Well, not to, I, didn't, I didn't know what magic war I was going to use in the first place. Yeah, it doesn't matter what magic you use, really. The slain will be able to, to own with it anyway. Um, but good game. Um, Vampire Counts victory. Mm-hmm.